at this time. All systems are go. Accompanied by Dr. Douglas and another Air Force doctor, uh, they walked over to the van, uh, which would take them out to pad 16. At 425, he began crawling into his spacesuit. Wynn says he is the last man to shake hands with the astronauts and to smile at the monkeys. Now, around the world, all Mercury stations reported go. Let's go now to Ed Williams at the press site. Over 500 newsmen here on the scene today to cover this thing. Roger, the clock is operating. We're underway. Anyone, all their eyes were focused on the rocket. They were excited. They been here many weeks waiting for this because of the delays, but when it came, it was exactly as everyone had planned. It was an exciting thing to watch, and this is the way they tell them. They're reporting it right now. There is special equipment has been installed here at the press site for them to tell their story to the world, to their own newspapers, and for their some radio stations from Latin America that are here. reported to be a hale and hearty astronaut after having successfully flown the United States' first manned orbital flight. U.S. astronaut John Glenn is on the...